Follow you? Yeah, I'm gonna follow you, man. Well, I, I don't know where I'm going. Just straight. Hey, who's this? Someone answer me. Whoever's there. It's like it's like horrible. You're fine. No, I'm not. Hey, ma'am, can you open your mouth for me? Lift yeah. your tongue up. Lift it up. She was in like 70 miles per hour down here. Oh, it's a she driving? Fox 8 lady. A what? Fox 8 uh, cat. Uh, the she? anchor. Which one? Uh, you know, Holly Strano. A Serrano? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So the irony of the Don't lie. Oh, she's, she's in the middle <laughs> What? She said I'm on the news. My anxiety. Did you run it? I, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Really? Where's yeah. she at? Right back here. Oh, she, she hit this point. Okay. okay, is this the car? Is this the car? Yes, okay. Okay, uh, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 watch, it. I watched the whole you thing happen. Whole thing happen so. I couldn't believe it. Hey, get back in your car! Get back in your car! Get off the road! Well, is there anything you want me to do? Can I, is there anything I can do, like, to not have this happen? I do to, like, make this better. So, what can I do to make it better? What do you mean? I mean, like, what can I do? I feel horrible. Guys, like, help me. What can I do to make this better? Who's Brad? He is my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? You want to talk to him? Yes. It's not the end of the world. Well, I don't feel like it is. Greg, you all right, buddy? Fox 8 lady. What? Fox 8 lady. All right, man, we're going to go in this garage right here, okay? We're going to do some field sobriety tests. All right, let's try it again. All right. So there's my so. Great Tom. Really nice. Love Chance the Rapper. Man, she, she ramped it. What's that? She ramped it. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. This is like my worst nightmare. Okay. Okay. You guys, this is my worst nightmare. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You all right? Yes, no. I am okay. You know what happened? Yes. What happened? What happened was I was an idiot. Well, you hit that pole uh, really yeah. hard. Yes. I feel like such an asshole. Well, this menu is going to check you out, man. Are you well, parked over here? Like the so I, can get I feel like the biggest. Oh, hey, no. Just stay over here. Well, I, I do feel like the biggest. How do you feel? Yeah, I mean, I feel fine, but I feel like this. Your face, it's got some blood on it. So how does your face feel? Fine. Any head, neck, or back? Yeah. Okay, so she, she physically rolled over. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be comfortable doing them in hills? Do you want I to? I mean, I would love to be in cozy socks, but sure. You can take your shoes off if you want. I was a little dirty. But, but I know I... It, don't want you to be like, oh, it's my heels it's that are messing my kids. I got you. So meteorologist Holly Strano is causing a big stir over on the Nextdoor app in the Cleveland Akron area. She's a popular weather woman, I'll call her, a popular on-air personality in the Cleveland Akron area. And you guys probably remember on Thanksgiving Day 2023 where Holly had a single car accident. She was more than three times the legal limit, her blood alcohol content, and thank God she didn't kill herself, she didn't harm anyone else, but it didn't sit right with a lot of people. Some people think she got a slap on the wrist. Well, thank the Lord, the police finally sent me the full body cam video of that night. We can see her OVI arrest and we can see her transport and all the people who were calling and the things she was saying. Holly was pleading with the cops. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? So again, as always, I've already put the full body cam over on Patreon. So you can look at the links below. With Patreon, I don't have to worry about doing a ton of editing 
editing and I can leave the video pretty much as it is. Over on YouTube, over here, I'm going to kind of obscure or put a filter or something on when Holly gets out the car and she's all bloody. I mean, I read the rules. We're not supposed to show blood on YouTube, so I don't know how other channels get away with it, but that's what I'm doing. So again, look at the whole thing over there, pretty much unedited. Though I do include captions a lot and I lifted up the volume in certain portions so we can try and hear what she's saying. Anyway, you'll see the cops start recognizing Holly, but they start calling her the Fox 8 lady instead of WKYC, which I don't think they're affiliated unless I'm wrong. They're asking each other, are we going to hold her? And it's like, no, not if she doesn't have a history of DUIs. Now at that point, they hadn't checked, but they didn't hold her. So I'm assuming she has no history of DUI. She has no history of DUI. Even though some people on Nextdoor are claiming she has a history of that, I could find no legal proof in any Ohio courts in the counties that I checked that Holly has any kind of history of driving under the influence. I did put a warning that there are lots of redactions in the audio in certain portions from the cops. So you'll hear the sound go blank sometimes. They're just talking. They're kind of enamored or surprised or whatever. They're like, you know who that is, right? That's the anchor. You're lying. So they start calling her the Fox 8 lady and they hear the portion where she says, I'm on the news. Like, guys, what can I do? So they're relating to each other. This we're going to watch Officer Williams body cam video. His goes on for a little bit more than an hour. That's what they sent me. They also sent me Officer Williams dash cam. And since his dash cam video has no sound, I'm including it in the big picture, kind of like a little picture in picture somewhere. So you can see it and I synced it up timing wise with the action. But again, if you want to just watch the whole soundless thing, I put it on Patreon. It's in one long video, about two hours long towards the end and warning there are flashing lights from the ambulance. So I always like to give a flashing light warning for those people whom it might affect. But you've probably already seen parts of this video. The YouTube channel Cleveland Area Body Cam, I don't know how they got it back then. They were the first that I saw who got the body cam footage. The video was titled WKYC's Holly Strano Arrested for Drunk Driving 0.244% BAC. That video is 21 minutes and 15 seconds long and it showed us the highlights. I did a follow-up video where I grabbed the audio from Broadcastify so we could hear what the dispatch was saying and that video was called Listen, Meteorologist Holly Strano flipped her 2023 Cadillac XT5 SUV blood alcohol level of 0.244%. So you can check the links below and watch all those as well. But at that point, when I tried to get the body cam video footage, it was just, I was having a hard time getting it. I felt like I was getting the run around. Anyway, thank God now I got it all. It's a total of two hours and two minutes and five seconds worth of footage, but some of it's overlapped, you know, the dash cam. So this video will be a little over an hour, probably. The drama starts around 7.30 PM or later that night on Thanksgiving day. Holly's flipping her SUV. They talk to witnesses. They're like, yes, we saw it all. We don't have cameras on this side but we have cameras on that side. So I don't know how many people caught footage of Holly on Akron Peninsula Road driving like a bat out of hell. You know, she couldn't maintain her lane. She was going 70 in a 35 mile per hour zone. And we get more insight now seeing this full footage. She tells the cop, like we saw before, that she just had one glass of wine. I'm not gonna lie to you, a goblet. And we're all thinking, yeah, how big was this goblet? But at one point the officers do pull out a bottle of prescription pills or something like like that. I don't really know what they were, but they are questioning if it is something that may have affected her driving. Again, Holly talks about being on the news. It's her worst nightmare. She feels like an a-hole. She's embarrassed. Now, since this was on the border of Akron, Ohio and Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, different officers responded. Even an officer from Peninsula responded. So you can hear them all chatting. I've put in further Freedom of Information Act requests for more body cam footage because there are incidents since it crossed city lines. So stay tuned for more if and when I get more body cam footage because Officer Williams, this guy, he talks to Holly a little bit. He transports her. He, he answers the phone when her boyfriend calls and her other family members call. But 
he doesn't necessarily talk to Holly the whole time. I mean, he was there. He was the one doing that great maneuvering. He got out of the way of that pole falling down, that power line that was down. He rescued Holly, got her away from her car, because you never know if a car's going to catch on fire and she's just diddling around and he got her away. You know, she keeps being concerned about her kids, her kids. And he's like, are your kids in the car? And she's just like, no, she's really concerned about having her phone. He gets her away with another officer. They walk her up the hill. They put her in the patrol car. They're very nice to her. They are very kind. They don't put her in cuffs. They're treating her with kid gloves. And to her credit, she's not like resisting and going off and everything. She doesn't seem like a mean drunk. She just seems like a sad person who's going through things. But I'm not offering excuses for her. I mean, people are really angry angry. Some people are so angry at her on this side, and that's probably why she hasn't come back to WKYC yet. I don't know if she will keep her job or not. I'm being told that decision is up to their parent company, so who knows what they will do. Holly's explaining she does have kids when her boyfriend Brad calls. She's so confused. The officer's trying to say, who is Brad? You know, who is this guy? And Holly, it's taking her a while to answer. It's like she's not understanding. Her sister-in-law is out there actively looking for Holly. I know her family had to be so worried. I don't know if they got alerts. I don't know if they knew she was in a crash. We get a better view of the Cadillac. We see like the back window busted out, the airbags deployed. She could have been harmed so much worse. And she's asking over and over again, you know, what can I do? What can I do? The cop tells her, just cooperate. Basically, just cooperate with us. You're doing it. You know, you're coming to the station. She does the field sobriety tests. She miserably fails them. That was it really for Holly. But we don't really know what's going to happen. I know there was some kind of plea deal. I went over it in my last video so you can see the results. She didn't spend any time in jail. Apparently, despite what other rumors are trying to claim, it was her first driving offense. The only thing I found for Holly up near her home was some type of red light violation. Maybe she ran a red light. I didn't find anything else for DUI or OVI for Holly, but on next door, people are going off. You know, what is the update on WKYC weather woman Holly Strano since her tragedy accident on Thanksgiving Eve? Technically it was Thanksgiving. It's been two months. She's no show on TV and they're wondering they more than likely let Holly go. People are wondering and thinking those who have been affected and lost loved ones harshly and lost loved ones at the hands of a drunk driver, some of them, they might still have sympathy, but they're like, this woman doesn't belong on the road. No one who would get behind the wheel of this, what, two ton, how much ever they weigh, a ton automobile, deserves to just jump right back in her car and drive. They are focusing on their loss, the danger. It's hard. And other people on this side are saying, oh, you know, just don't judge her. We all had our problems. So, and some people are right in the middle. So there's a lot of controversy. People are calling it unfortunate and careless on her part, but they're wishing her well. This post on next door, and it's not the first one, but it got so many comments that the discussion is now just closed off. You know, it gets very controversial. People are saying, hope she learned a lesson and starts over better. We're humans, we make mistakes, but WKIC needs to accept this, I guess, and keep Holly. You know, she's been on air. She's such a popular face that we're used to seeing, a popular personality that we're used to seeing her for decades. So some people, you know, you get that parasocial relationship. They feel like they know her personally. And some people are thinking, oh yeah, it's just a mistake. No one got really hurt, so let her back. But then others are talking about, look, companies have morals clauses and they have codes of conduct. Maybe this is just a temperature check, you know, people feeling to say, okay, what would happen? Well, how would viewers react if we brought Holly back right now? You know, would they revolt? Would they stop watching her shows? Because she wasn't just a meteorologist. I mean, that's a tough enough job in and of itself. She also hosted other shows like at noon or on weekends or what have you. I covered it in my last video. People are calling it a double standard. And they're saying, what if we let everyone out of the prisons? WKYC should keep her gone because she's an adult who should face consequences. Others wish her well. Yeah, the last thing we heard officially is it's unclear whether Holly Strano has lost her job at WKYC. She faced this big publicized arrest. This body cam went viral all around the world. I believe it's because of how fast she was going, how popular she is, 
a good looking woman flipping her Cadillac around and getting out and all bloodied. Again, I'm going to blur that part. You'll watch the whole thing coming up on Patreon. I'll leave it unblurred. The general manager at WKYC just called it a personnel issue and didn't offer much more beyond that statement. Someone saying, oh, they kept this other guy from Channel 8 when he was drunk driving. They're arguing this other personality on TV wasn't blitzed at three times the legal limit. I don't remember seeing any other body cam videos, but that's the thing as these grow in popularity and we can literally see Holly and the crash and the blood and the way she was acting and so out of it, it makes it more real to people. Folks are saying, look, perhaps with some counseling, maybe Holly can get better. This one woman is writing, I'd love to see her back. And that's a good point. Maybe she can use her voice for good. Maybe it can be a powerful way of making amends coming back. I've personally spoken to someone who's like, yeah, I'd forgive her if she wouldn't just hide. I understand why she's hiding because I know there's some very angry people still out there, but folks don't necessarily want to see her hiding. They want to see her come out, make amends in a public way. She's a public figure, so people expect public figures to remain public even when they go through a personal crisis but this became public record because she affected people you'll see the cop or you've seen and you will see this cop he's great he's screaming at someone get back in your car it's not like he's necessarily trying to pull rank it is a dangerous situation a power line is down and the fire hydrant is off to the side somewhere so water is spilling everywhere so can you imagine there's this electrified water on the road and you will see people walking people are probably just trying to get home enjoying their after dinner thanksgiving walk perhaps and it's dangerous it's a dangerous situation someone else wrote thinking since she was super intoxicated she was fired as she should be now we don't know if she was fired yet they've been very mum on this situation some people are like, what? Lose her job for drunk driving? Others are like, yeah, she very well should. Some people say no one is perfect. People deserve a second chance. And others are saying Holly Strano is a convicted criminal that can result in job loss, particularly for a public figure. Not saying that's what should happen. That's what can happen. And others are still wondering, is her second chance at a different station? That's another concern. If WKYC lets her go, maybe another station station would pick her up. Maybe she could transfer to a different market where it's not so personal and home-based and people won't keep remembering this. So they're talking all about her public image. They're going on and on. They're calling each other enablers. Should she lose her job or not? As of a few days ago, she was still on the website, Holly Strano, 3 News Meteorologist. She's a meteorologist at WKYC Studios in Cleveland, Ohio, specializing in weather and media. She does have a great personality. That's what a lot of people like. They're asking if she's married. They say she has a son and a daughter, and they're even getting into her background, her marital history. Maybe she's in rehab, one person is saying. That would be good. I hope so. Maybe that's why she has kept quiet. I hope she has gone off to get help, get whatever medication she needs, get whatever therapy she needs. They're talking about Holly admitting to her mental struggles before her depression or anxiety. Even in the body cam, you, you will hear her talk about her anxiety. And again, these are no excuses. Many people suffer from anxiety or depression and they may treat it with medications and therapy and all different sorts of things, but they don't use that as an excuse to self-medicate to the point where they go endanger others on the road on Thanksgiving night by crashing their Cadillacs. Can she be fired? Yes. They're saying yes. Will she be fired? No. They're just waiting for her to get out of her court-ordered rehab and let things blow over. So yeah, in the previous video, I talked more about what the courts decided, how the plea went down, and how Holly had great lawyers and how she didn't have to spend any time in jail. You'll hear that in the body cam coming up too. In some people's opinion, got a slap on the wrist and she was discharged to a person who could drive her home. It looks like they've opened the comments again on this post. Bottom line is we need to respect her privacy, says one man. She's the only one that can let us know what's going on. Her return to the air is an internal matter between WKYC and Holly and doesn't concern us. She made a mistake and is hopefully seeking counseling and or treatment. And some are saying, look, 
Some of you are folks who just didn't get caught. Another person is talking about how TV is just about ratings. If Holly was getting good ratings, maybe the station will see how it all plays out. So we'll see, it's a big controversy. They're talking about other male executives who may have gotten DUIs and never got fired. I think with the advent of body cam and, and things being so out there, cause you guys really wanna see all the footage. You wanna see the real rawness of what actually happened. I think that's what can make the difference. I'm going to let you watch the whole thing now, uninterrupted for yourself. After we read Isaiah 63, one, who is this who comes from Edom? with crimson stained garments from Basra in Edom. This one, the Messiah, who is majestic in his apparel, marching in the greatness of his might, it is I, the one who speaks in righteousness, proclaiming vindication, mighty to save. So hopefully that's who Holly is calling on and leaning on right now. So watch these videos. Let me know what you think below. Maybe WKYC will read the comments. Do you think Holly should keep her job? Should she come out and explain herself more? Have her driving privileges been restored like we went over, like she could have just driven again days after that accident if it were for work-related tasks? If she's doing anything work-related, she could have jumped back in a different SUV. Not that one, it looked pretty totaled. I think she would have been able to drive again by December 9th. So has she learned her lesson? Do you think she should go back to WKYC? If she goes to rehab, what are the conditions? If she's truly sober and healed and not endangering others? That's the problem. That's why people feel it's not just some personal issue between Holly and her own demons. This is when it became public, when she chose to drive in that condition and endanger others. Leave a bunch of comments. Let everyone know what you think. Thank you and stay tuned. I hope I get the rest of the footage from the other jurisdiction. And when I do, I will put it in a future video. Thank you and take care. Hey, hello, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, she's with the police now. Come on, come on. Oh, is that police there with you now? Okay, I'll let my partner know. Ma'am, come on, out of the car. Your phone's on the ground, ma'am, come out of the car. Come out of the car, ma'am. And just to confirm, sir, you said you're an officer? Yes. Okay. Come out of the car, ma'am. All right, my partner has returned. We're going to go ahead and disconnect. Okay, We're here. We need to find him. A firm. We got airbags for me. And she's extremely intox. Copy. Come on. Are you all right? I am. Okay, come on. We're going to go up to the top of this hill, okay? We're going to get away from this car. Uh, we are. Do you have my phone? I'll grab your phone, ma'am. Come on. Come on, no, up no, here. We, 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 can I have that for my phone? Ma'am, we'll, we'll worry about your phone in there in a second. Yeah, I, that's a huge oh, thing. It's my kids. Come on. Go ahead. Please. Sir. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out of, out of this way. Come on. Up no, the hill. Okay. Up the hill. Go ahead. Sir. Come, nope. Okay. Don't. No, no, I'm not going to. Like, uh, come on. Come on. I have kids in. Yeah. Are there kids in the car? No. They're worried about me. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Sir, sir, come on. Guys. Sit down. Sit down. Was there anything you want me to do? Call him dead. Come on. Go ahead. How are you headed down there? Yeah, I'm on one point. I've got this in there. Okay, just let dispatch know. I don't hey. think we need any other cars besides this. Hey, bus. get back in your car! Get back in your car! Get
Get off the road! Ball's empty in the car five. Go ahead. When you get down here, just block off the northbound lanes approaching where we're at. And get that break for the correct address. Go ahead. 2108 Acre Peninsula. That's where the vehicle's going to be and where the power runs down. Yes, turn around. I'm going to go back up. Yeah. Turn around. You got you gotta turn around. Okay, so what do you want me to do because the parking lot I my house is literally my house is literally right there. Where I, that car just pulled into the, you can't get by? The power lines down there's water on the road, man. Oh I didn't know there was water on the road. Oh, uh, you want me to just go that way yeah, then? Yeah, turn around. Turn around. You gotta turn around. Turn around. One sec, man. You're good. Come on. You're good. You get back up, man. You're good. Okay. Sorry, I didn't. You're, I thought, you're, uh... you're, you're fine. <laughs> what? Yeah, just come down here. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Really? Where's she at? Put it back here. Oh, she, she hit this point. I'm not sure. Is this, I guess you were. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's probably Akron's. Probably um, back. Yeah. Balls. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
somewhere, right? Uh, you have an app in your little spot. Oh, this is this is Akron's. Okay. The side of the road would be Akron. Alright. This is like my worst nightmare. You guys, this is my worst nightmare. Okay. You alright? Yes, I am okay. You know what happened? Yes. What happened? What happened was I was an idiot. Well, you hit that pole. Uh, really yeah. hard. Yes. Oh, yeah, why? Are you guys able to leave? Is it safe? I would I would try to leave now. Is there a guy loose? Uh, no. no. Okay. There's there's water, there's power line now, so I want you to leave before you know, is your car is over there? Yes. Yeah, we're over there. Let's where's try to the, let's where's try the, to get let's try to leave now. Try to leave now. Where's the power line? Where's it's on the road, but it's touching the water. It's so. touching the water. Okay. All oh, right. So wait, we should so go. We gotta go out that way. Yes. Yeah. Let's try to let's try to leave okay. now. While we okay. Okay. Is this the car? Was this the car? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, got right. it. Yeah. 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 I, I, I watch. I watched the whole you thing happen. Happened, there. So. I couldn't believe it. You have to have cameras to you? No. Not on this side of the building. But that would have been awesome. Got, were you got the guys that were chasing them? Um, chasing? He was. Okay. We got. We might have gotten some of the chase on the other camera there, but not not this part, dark? unfortunately. Okay. Oh gosh! Okay. Well, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Where's the person? They're in our car. Oh, they're, they're in the car? Yeah, they're in our car. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. We'll, we'll leave now. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Greg, you all right, buddy? Man, she she ramped it. What's that? She ramped it. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. All right. I was the the pole when it came down, like it blew up. So where did you light her up at? Uh, when I was trying to, I turned around and I was trying to catch up to her, and she was going off the road. Yeah. I love it further down. We could probably still see it, but I, I think it's still gonna be. I turn my lights on, it's probably gonna be heck. But well, I mean, we're not gonna let someone drive in here, so I mean, you're good, you're fine there. Uh, yeah, when I when I was going northbound. I could see her veer off the road and go left to center and veer off the road. So you saw that before you lit her up? Yeah. Okay. And when I turned around, she was in the set. Okay. And then she just went right off, ramped it, hit the pole, pole blew up. She hit this pole right here? No, the pole that's in the road. Oh, okay. Close to the, okay. the guardrail. Yep. And then flipped it, and it came. So she, over there is where she hit, and she flipped all the way out here. Okay. okay. She injured? Okay. Yeah. Your way up on her own, did you guys beat her down there? I had a, a sister. A sister? Is the car turned off, you know? I don't know. 
Front desk car five. Hurry in position, give me a call. Well, this menu is going to check you out, man. Are you parked well, over here? Like the like the I feel like the biggest oh, thing. Just stay over here. Well, I, I do feel like the biggest thing. How do you feel? Yeah, I, mean, I feel fine, but I feel like the biggest thing. Your face has got some blood on it. How does your face feel? Fine. Any head, neck, or back? Yeah. Hey, William. Here. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's she's gonna either get arrested or warrant on the plane if she goes to the hospital and she can't go to it. How close are you when you pulled her pulled around on her? So what's that thing? Yes, sir. Garbage plant, yes, whatever that plant is, where I turn yeah. around. Uh, that's where I turn around and then I when I was turning okay. around, turn the lights on, I was trying to catch up. She was and I was gonna get trouble. So it's probably like eight, half a mile in front of He said okay. uh, let's get the OVI stuff done before she goes anywhere, if she does go, because I'm trying to figure out. Like, oh, yeah, this is Akron's. Well, it started in our city. Well, it's it's going to be Akron's crash. I know mm -hmm. that. ROVI, I think. Right. And I'll help you with whatever. Let's get like Akron's here right now. So the irony of both. Stationary 3340 West Marquis. 20 on 3. How are you? Good, are you? So, you guys uh, need anything? I'm explaining TAC to. Oh, your phone's up. Yeah. I'll look for it. <laughs> he, he, uh, our dispatch called. Uh -huh. Somebody called about him, the people in the porch that were following him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we tried to catch up, but there was no way I was on the other side I by Brexit. Yeah, so, no. and then I heard that uh, he uh, screwed up. What did he do? He hit a hydrant? She, well, when I turned around, or she, she was in like 70 miles per hour down here. Oh, it's a she driving? Fox 8 lady. A what? Fox 8 uh, cat. Uh, the she, anchor. Which one? Uh, Holly Strano. Strano? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. What's your name, by the way? I'm also William Scrag. Hi, I'm Mike. Mike Scrag. Nice to meet you. I don't think we've met before. So, yeah. yeah, so she she ramped it here, hit the pole when she ramped it, and flipped all the way down the hill. Wow. Is she in the squad right now? Yeah. Is she messed up? Like, I mean, not just drunk, but oh, is she hurt? No, drunk will prevent it. So, she's like, I just feel stupid. She's bleeding all over the place, but she seems like she's fine. So, what's the water from? What? She, hit the pull, she hit the fire hydrant, too, when she flipped. So, that's flooding that business? Huh? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay. And what, what's in the roadway right there? Is that her bumper? Power, uh, that's the power line. Power line. Shit. Yeah, it, it looks like a like a big mm -hmm. oh like the tulip pole. The pole. Like one of these. Holy cow, where did that come from? Uh when she ramped she hit it and it just flew off and blew up. Almost hit it when I was <laughs> stopped my car. My pleasure meeting you too.
So uh, uh, Anderson has to help us out. Okay, I will. <laughs> Alrighty, take this. Hello. What's up, guys? Well, just to they explain you what happened. Yeah, so... Said... You guys tried lighting her up back here, and then she came off this way. Yeah, so we're just trying to stop her because we were calling. Because they've been calling since Peninsula. Uh, and when I was going northbound, she was veering off the road. So we're trying to stop or over and I turn around to do my 70 and I was trying to catch up to her and she's ramped up. We're just trying to figure out if you guys want to take the SFSCs in the OVI or if we're going to take the OVI if it's a crash. Yeah, we're, uh, we're in your guys' city so you tell us what you need. Okay. I mean, yeah, because we don't. Uh, we don't have an oper- yeah, we don't have an. O- we don't have an operator. I'm gonna give you the phone number anyway. Mean, you ready? You guys want to do SFSTs in the OBI? That's fine. I'm sorry, you're lying. What's the phone number? O H one. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need you to take the O H one at least. We can run the SFSTs. Yeah. Okay. If you guys have a like a BAC operator, that's cool. Because we don't. Yeah. We have BAC operators. Yeah. 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 If you guys want to do the OBI, we take the O H one. I'm cool with that, Sarge. Why O H one? Well, you, if you saw her driving, we'll, we'll do the OBI. That's fine. Go ahead, Let them handle this, and that building is going to oh, yeah, be that's, flooded. That's so. going to be flooded out. So. That's um, fantastic. Uh, do you have her ID? We'll, uh, she's a retro owner of this car. Okay, she has the RL. Yeah. Okay, because I am at all. My radio Hi, Logan. Nate, can you grab her phone and see if she has a wallet or something in there? Her purse is up there. Her, you said her phone? Yeah, it's on the floor, the driver's side. Yeah. Are we doing the OVI? What do you want help with? I got photos. Yeah, we're going to do the OVI. We're going to do the 
He just needs a purse and general belongings. Purse is on the front of the car right there. Uh, I just wanted to wait until so for for only one. So she's coming. She's coming this way. Did she run off on the other side of that guardrail? So and then cut through. So when we saw her, I turned around at that plant down there yeah. to the left. That's where I turned around when I was okay. catching up to her. She veered off okay. left center. Then went right. She ramped this guardrail. Okay. Hit the pole. Flipped. Knocked this uh, fire hydrant off. Yeah. And kept flipping all the way down. Okay. So she she physically rolled over. Yeah. <laughs> God. God bless man. You just seen the light show was crazy when it blew up. It just blew up. It blew up? Yeah. It exploded. Alright. Do you know about how fast she was going? Uh, I was doing 70, so that's what I call it. I was 70 miles okay. per hour. Alright. It's going pretty fast. Yeah. Around a lot of these blind, blind type corners here. Um, was she wearing her seatbelt or anything like that? When, you, when I... When you guys she, got her out, she, did she get herself out? She was getting out of the car by the time I got down the hill. Do okay. you have anything in the car of significance, reference to OVI? I didn't go in the car. All right. All right. Uh, we'll have you guys doing that since you're going to tow it. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Inventory and all that. Uh, you have a car? Mm -hmm. you have a car? No, we don't have cars. I give you my ID number for one. Uh, I don't know. She might. I don't know. Because I, I passed it. One second, ma'am. Thank you very much. If the wind isn't down there, can you get a statement, please, and all her information? Logan's gonna, huh? Logan's gonna come with me to help me out. Logan's gonna come help me out. All right. All right. I'm gonna get Akron's report number real quick, right. and then give him mine, and then I'm gonna take off. Boston 822, dispatch. Go ahead, Boston 822. Can you show me over to our MPA? Here's our uh, gonna be our report. Yeah. And what's yours report? Last night, so I said you can yeah. show me out with that accident yeah. as well. A weird portion of mine where it is uh, right in front of like, we need valley fire. Right in front of like timber trail and everything. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna do the eight, but I mean, we, as far as the OBI, I mean, we didn't really observe her driving. Here's ours. It'll be our accident number. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna take the eight. What's your name? So I can probably get the. Uh, it's gonna be Cornell C O R N E L L. Yeah. Fifteen seven. All this is there, there's. Right. I'll call it down later if he has down here. Again, have the report so on soon or whatever. Uh, I don't know how soon we'll have it done, but I'll call it down later so because we had to attach it to our yeah, okay. OBI they stuff. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take off. Oh.
when she was talking to me, she said she was alright, but I, I don't know what she did here. You didn't want to go to the hospital or anything? No. Okay. Alright. Can I talk to you then? One, one sec, ma'am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you something, and then uh, then we can talk, okay? Alright. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have him or her present while you're being questioned. Can't afford a higher lawyer, want to be appointed or represent you before any question if you wish. You decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand your rights? Do you wish to talk to me? Okay. What's going on here? You want to talk to me? What's going on? Yeah. So, I mean, should be told. Mm -hmm. I screwed up. How'd you screw up, man? You don't know? No, I don't. Where are you coming from tonight? I was coming from a family party. Party? Did you have some of the drink there today? I did. How much did you have to drink? I had. And I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I'm a You too. I had a glass of wine. One glass of wine? Yes. Like how big is a glass? Like big or small? No, like... Like champagne type yeah. glass or like big wine glass? No, like a goblet. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. I appreciate you, ma'am. All right, ma'am. So, and then I was coming home. Where do you live? I live in Highland Heights. Highland Heights. Yeah. All right, ma'am. So this is gonna happen. I'm gonna take you back to the police department. You are under arrest for operating a vehicle while impaired. Okay. You will be released tonight. So I'll give you a chance to make a phone call. I have someone come pick you up. I say you're under arrest right now for operating a vehicle while impaired. Okay, you won't be staying with us tonight. You'll be released, so I'll give you the opportunity to call somebody to pick you up. But right now, you're going to come with me for a couple hours. Okay? Can I? Is there anything I can do, like, to not have this happen? Sorry, ma'am. There's nothing really you can do at this point. You just just shouldn't have been drinking, okay, and driving. You caused a significant accident. I'm really surprised you're not as injured as what I saw. Okay? So I'm gonna close this door. And we're going to head up to the police department, and then we'll talk a little further there, okay? What is this? Is this all you right here? These papers? Yeah. Okay. Can I have, can you hand that to me? I'm on the news. Well, ma'am, that, that's irrelevant to us, okay? I know. I, I, I understand that, but at the end of the day, if you head on somebody and injure them, then that story's on the news. So that, that's irrelevant to us, okay? Okay. Let's get uh, her property out of there. Okay. We'll put Give those papers in your property. I have your phone and your purse and stuff, okay? All right. I'm going to tighten the seatbelt up. We're not going to put handcuffs on you or anything like that, okay? You're not pregnant or anything? Are you pregnant or anything, ma'am? Recently given birth? No handcuffs right now, okay? We're not going to handcuff you. Take off. Well, I can't take off. You can take off. Ain't nobody blocking the road down there. No. Ma'am, yes. what's your uh, phone number? Can you, can you give me a phone, please? Yeah, one sec. What's your phone number? Second, Holly. Hey, ma'am, can you open your mouth for me? Lift your tongue up. Lift it up. Appreciate it. Do you, what kind of hold do you guys want on this? Are you, you, are you guys holding it or anything? Or? How many does she have? Uh, I didn't check. I don't think she has any. If she doesn't have any, we're not holding it. Okay. Anything else out here? Or? 
Good. I'm going to go get hunt. the written statement from the lady whenever I can. The that should be good for now. Call her? Yeah. Sick. Uh, yeah, that should be all right. I can ask her about these, if she was using these at all. Mm-hmm. Drowsiness. Were you with her when she was with the uh, fire department? Very briefly, yeah. She refused them? Okay. Credit cards and stuff in there. Appreciate you coming out, sorry. It was like, it's been 40 minutes. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys back. Yeah. Uh, I have your phone. Not right now, ma'am. I'll give you your phone here in a, uh, we're done. Yeah. Are you doing anything with the, uh, failure to yield? No. Okay. No. Who's Vanessa? She's my cousin. Okay. Not right now, ma'am. Oh, oh, go ahead. I have that register owner under arrest for OBI. It's started our paperwork down. My starting mileage is 617. So what can I do to like Uh, it, it, Claire, 2024. This is it, ma'am. There's, there's, there's literally nothing else you can do. So, what can I do to make it better? What do you mean? I mean, like, what can I do? I feel horrible. Well, we'll, we'll figure that out uh, when you sober up, okay? I'll give you a chance and opportunity to call someone when we get down there, okay, ma'am? I'll see you back there, Gray. Let me know if you need anything. All right. Did you get uh, insurance information by chance? No. Um, is your, where's your insurance at? In the car, or do you have it on your phone? Where at in your car? The glove compartment? Glove compartment. Glove, glove compartment? Yeah. Going to the police station. Huh? You'll get home to the ma'am, just not right now.
Just cooperate, ma'am. That's all. Who's Brad Ford? Who's Brad Ford? Who's Brad? There's someone calling you. Who's Brad? Your boyfriend? You want to talk to him? If he calls back, I'll answer it. Go ahead, talk. Ma'am, you can talk. Someone's on your phone. Hey. Hello? Hey, who's this? Someone answer me. Whoever's there. Hello. Is there an officer? There is an officer. Hello. Hey. What, what's going on? Uh, she's not answering. What's her name? Holly? Ho Holly? Holly. Holly. Where's she at? Someone's on the phone for you. Do you want to speak to them? Yes. Go ahead, speak to them. Is she, is she okay? Yes. Mom. What's the word? Can I speak to the officer, please? Um, yes, you can. Okay. Hello. Uh, officer? Hi, what's going on? Can you please call this number? It will be the best help for her right now and the best person for you to talk to. Okay, who is this? Uh, it is her sister-in-law. But she is out looking for her actively right now. Okay. Now. Oh, Can God. I give you the number? <sighs> yeah, give me one second. Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you so much. All right. All right. Hello, this is Officer Williams of Cock Falls Police Department. Who is this? Officer, Officer Williams with the Cock Falls Police Department. Hi. Hi, what's the, are you Holly's sister? Um, sister-in-law. Hi, you're out looking for her? Yes. Alright, well, we arrested her. Wait, she's been arrested. Okay. She was in a... I have She was in an accident. She was in an accident. Is she okay? She's fine, but she's gonna be okay. with, she's gonna be with us for a little bit. I'll give you guys a call when it's time to pick her up, okay? Okay. It'll probably be about two hours at uh, okay. Cuyahoga Falls Police Department, okay? Okay. What is your last name, man? I'm sorry. Williams. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Bye. All right. Bye.
Yeah. Um, so what's it going to I'm going to do some uh, field sobriety tests when we get back to the station. Well, I, I'll run down the play play. When I when we get back to the station, you're going to get searched. Okay? What? You're going to get searched by a female officer. We're going to do field sobriety tests. I'm going to read you a couple pieces of paper. I'm going to ask you a couple questions. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do a breath test. And then afterwards, you get your copies of your citation. And then you will be released. Okay? I have your sister-in-law's phone number, so I'll give her a call. And let her know she knows where you're at. And she knows you're okay. I have my phone. I have your phone, ma'am. I, I spoke with one of your sons. He knows where you're at. Well, I mean, that's horrifying. Well, you were just talking to him. No, I was not. Was that not one of your sons? JJ, is that one of your sons? No, JJ's my nephew. Nephew, okay. Uh, well, you'll be. I'll give you your phone when, we're, when we go downstairs into the police department, okay? I can't give it to you now because uh, there's no way I can give it to you. We're going to do all the things we need done, and I'll give you your phone. Not right now, ma'am. I will give you your phone when it's time, okay? Just be patient. Huh? Huh? What'd you say, ma'am? I am so embarrassed. I know, it's an embarrassing thing, but it's not the end of the world, okay? Huh? It's not the end of the world. Oh, well, I feel like it is. Well, ma'am, I'll tell you what. Uh, we are happy that you are not extremely injured, because you did hit that stuff, that uh, pole extremely hard and flipped, and I'm glad you're okay. But right now, you're just going to deal with the consequences, and then you will continue on with your life, Okay. Go ahead. I ride a station in my life. 622. At station 2036. We're going to do uh, some field sobriety tests first. Fox 8 lady. What? All right, man, we're going to go in this garage right here, okay? We're going to do some field sobriety tests, and then we're going to uh, go downstairs, and I'll give you your phone so you can call some people, okay? Uh, this is Officer Zerby. After we're done with our field sobriety, she's going to do a quick search of you, okay? We're going to come in here, okay? This way. I'll follow you. I'm going to follow you, man. This well, I, don't, I don't know where I'm going. Just straight. You're it's like it's like horrible. You're fine. No, I'm not. All right, turn around and face me. All righty. Put your feet together, like this. You want to take your heels off? Okay. Put your hands down by your side. 
And do not move from this position. Do you understand? All right. Do you wear contacts or glasses? I do. I have contacts. Do you have contacts in right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, besides the accident, did you hit your head during the accident? No. Head hurts or anything? No. Any prior head injury? Mm. No? Okay. Any medications that you take that deal with your head or your eyes? No. Okay. See this light? I do. What color is it? Red. I want you to follow this light with your eyes and eyes only without moving your head. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Don't move your head, ma'am. So pretend, look at me, pretend there's a string attached from my nose to your nose, okay? okay. So you're going to make that, don't, you don't want to break that string. Okay. You're going to keep it straight. Okay. So that means you can't move your head. Okay. Okay. Nope. You're fine. You're fine. Nope. Nope. Don't fall forward, man. Keep falling. There you go. All right. Go ahead, blink. Tell me when you're ready. We're going to do a longer version of that test, okay? All right. Feet back together. Like this. Like me. All right. You ready? Yeah. You're fine. Also, you might if you hold her shoulders so she can stand straight. She's going to hold you up, okay? No, that's fine. Because you keep falling forward and leaning forward, okay? So all you got to do is not focus on your, your balance here. Just focus on this, okay? Don't move your head. Follow your eyes, eyes only. Don't move your head, okay? Don't move your head, okay? Keep looking at it. Throw your head, okay? Try it again. Don't move your head, okay, ma'am? Don't move your head. Keep your head straight, okay? Alrighty. We're going to do some balancing, okay? Some walking, okay? Are you fine with that? Got it. Are you going to be comfortable doing them in hills? Do you want I to? I mean, I would love to be in cozy socks, but sure. So you can take your shoes off if you want. I was a little dirty. But it, but I know I don't want you to be like, oh, it's my heels that are messing. My kids. I got you. Well, we're going to go through this first, okay? Do you want to do it in your heels, or do you want to take them off? Let's, let's just try. Okay. All right, ma'am. I'm going to put you in a, a starting position. You're gonna, when I put you in that position, you're going to stand there and do not move from that position. I'm going to demonstrate the test, and then you're going to do the test. But you got to stand in a starting position, okay? Does that make sense? No. Okay. I'll show you. So what I want you to do is pretend there's an imaginary line going from you to that number 15. Imaginary line straight. Straight line that goes Where's from... 15? The number 15 on the front of my car. Okay. Okay. Imagine it's a straight line from you to the number 15, okay? Okay. I want you to take your left foot, mm -hmm. put it on that imaginary line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you do that for me? Okay. Left foot on the imaginary line. Right foot in front of your left foot, heel to toe. Nope. No walking yet. I'll tell you when to start walking, okay? You're going to stand just like this. 
Left foot on the line, right foot in front of your left foot, heel to the toe, like this. Can you do that for me? Left. Left foot on the line, right foot in front of your left foot, heel to the toe, like this. You see how mines are? I want you to be just like this. Man, we're gonna. I, I'm gonna have you take your shoes off because I, I don't. Yeah. I, that's we're gonna do that. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. So. All right, come back here where you can see the sh your imaginary line from you to number 15. Mm -hmm. Take your left foot, left foot on the line, right foot in front of your left foot, heel to toe, just like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. You see how I am? I do. Okay, put your hands down by your side and do not move from this position until I tell you to do so. Do you understand? I, I'm just, no, no. You don't understand? So I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna walk like this? You're, no, you're gonna stand like that and stay like that. I'm oh. gonna demonstrate something and then you'll walk, okay? Just stay like that, okay? When I tell you to do so, which is not yet, while on this imaginary line, okay. put your hands down by your side, you're going to look at your feet, and you're going to okay. take a series of nine heel-to-toe steps. Okay. So it looks something like this. One, two, three. I know I did three, but you're going to do nine. Okay. When you get to your ninth step, you're going to take small steps around your lead foot, like this. Not, not quick turn, just small steps around your lead foot when you get to your ninth step. And take nine more heel to toe steps back, like this. One, two, three. I know I did three, but you're gonna do nine. Just key points to this test, just try to maintain a straight line. So I'm going that way. That way and back, okay? Maintain a straight line, heel to toe steps, look at your feet, keep your hands down by your side, and count out loud every step you take. Okay. It's gonna be nine forward, small steps around your ninth step, nine back. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. Is there any reason why you can't perform this test? Is there anything wrong with your feet? I hope not. Uh, nothing wrong with your legs or anything? Okay. No, it's just anxiety. Okay. You may begin whenever you're ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Back. Mm-hmm. Does that demonstrate? Twenty-three steps, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, ma'am. I know it's a stressful thing. We're almost done here, okay? Do one more. Dude, hit my phone off. Really nice, love chance the rapper. All right, ma'am, I'll put your, you want you to put your feet together again like this, mm -hmm. hands down by your side, and do not move from this position. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right, ma'am. When I tell you to do so, which is not yet, you're gonna choose a leg. It doesn't matter which leg you choose. I'm gonna choose my left. Okay. While keeping your hands down by your side, you're gonna raise that leg up six inches off the ground, toe pointed forward like this. You don't want your knee bent, not back, locked out straight, toe pointed forward. While looking at your toe. You're going to count out loud by 1,000s. Look something like this. 1,001. 1,002. 1,003. 1,004. 1,005. 
and so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Okay? Key notes on this test. If you put your foot down, pick your foot back up and continue off where you left off. Do you understand that test? Kind of. I'll reiterate it again, okay? So, you're going to choose a leg. doesn't matter which leg you choose. Hands down by your side. You're going to raise that leg up six inches off the ground. Six inches. Toe pointed forward. Leg out, out straight. You're going to look at your toe and count out by 1,000s. It looks something like this. 1,001. 1,002. 1,003. 1,004. 1,005. And so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Okay. And when you, if you put your foot down at any point during a test, just pick it up and continue off where you left off, okay? okay. We will tell you when to stop. Okay. You're going to go when this officer tells you to do so, okay? All right. Can you need again. All right. Okay. So, I can be again? Yeah. Okay. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Hold on. This isn't nerve-wracking. You're fine. Thousand one, one thousand two. You stop. You're good. I don't have to do any more. <laughs> you don't put your shoes back on right now. Hold on. I can do. I can. No, no, no you guys are making me nervous. You don't have to do any more of the test. You're good. You're good. You're fine. We're done. Yeah, we're done. You're done. That's we're, it. we're done, man. Okay. Just stand right here. Just put your shoes back on if you can. Okay. Stop recording.